Hey, how you guys doing? Just want to make a video here doing an update on my City of Lawrence lawsuit and just some uh, brief background on it. I filed the lawsuit against the City of Lawrence back in November of 2023. And within that lawsuit, I have uh, two separate claims, one against the city commissioners, um, two of its mayors, Lisa Larson and Courtney Shipley. And then also there's a complaint against the Lawrence Public Library. And these were for separate incidences, separate dates. And so the update uh, that I wanna give here in this video is concerning the city commission lawsuit. And yesterday, February 13th, 2024, I had the first kind of major development uh, with the lawsuits. And that was, we had a preliminary injunction hearing. And so is for um, injunctive relief. So within the within the lawsuit I claim uh, multiple things but one of them is I'm asking for uh, injunctive relief for the po portions of their policies that guide their their meetings the city commission meetings uh, uh, specifically when it comes to the public, speaking at their meetings and so those two things are we are challenging their policies facially and we're challenging them applied and what that means is that <clears throat> we're asking the judge to rule on um suspending the commission being able to enforce their policy at the meeting on the general uh, community speaking at the meetings because their policy is unconstitutional and vague and so that's the facial um, apl uh, application that we're that we're challenging so uh, Facially, we're saying that the way that it's their policy is written, it is vague and unconstitutional and therefore should not be allowed to be used. And then we're also challenging it applied, saying that the city commission and the mayors during their meetings uh, apply it in a discriminatory way, in an unequal way. And so we're asking the judge to rule on that and so like I said had a hearing yesterday it was at the federal courthouse in Kansas City Kansas it started at 9 a.m. a little before 9 a.m. and went all day till after 4 p.m. and at that hearing we had um, we called Lisa Larson who is a commissioner still and was a mayor when she had me removed from the meetings um, <clears throat> back in 2023. And then we also called Courtney Shipley, who's no longer a commissioner. She just got voted out this past election, but she was the mayor in 2022 when she had me removed from meetings. So we called both of them up on the stand, and then we also called Michael Arabi, who is Lawrence Accountability, called him to the stand. And then I was called to the stand and we all gave testimony. And so now the next step is, you know, no decision has been made yet. The judge uh, gave the attorneys the option if they wanted to submit uh, any written analysis of the day's testimony before she made her ruling. And my attorney, Linus Baker, he, uh, he requested that he, he be able to submit uh, an, an analysis of the testimony from the hearing. And he requested two weeks to do that, and that was granted. And so I think once that's submitted, I think they said that if the city attorney is gonna respond, I think that they have seven days to do that. I'm not really, I'm not really sure on the, the 
the time beyond that two weeks, but um, it'll be a few more weeks before a ruling is made. But you know, once it uh, once it's made, I'll, I'll post a video here with an update. Um, <clears throat> but that's the uh, that's the update on the on the city. Um, and so, you know, the city was the first lawsuit that I filed. I filed that in November of last year. And then in December, I filed the USD 497 lawsuit against the uh, school superintendent and then the, the school board. And then in January of 24, I submitted the county commission and sheriff lawsuit. And so, um, you know, the city hearing was yesterday. And so that, you know, that was the first, that's the first case up. And then today had a status conference hearing for the school board lawsuit, and that that uh, lawsuit is actually being being um, seen in district court in Topeka, Kansas. And so had a status hearing this morning. Um, it didn't have to be at it, but my attorney was at it, and so we'll see what comes of that. I'll post an update on that as well. But as we go along, I'll continue to post updates on all of these. Um, I appreciate you uh, having an interest in my lawsuits. I appreciate you checking out my video and my channel. We'll talk to you later.